Pretty boy, Kelly! Coming of age night for Josh Kelly. The one thing that Josh Kelly cannot do, the man in the black trunks, Kelly in the red and white, then he can flip it on its head, make a compelling case, needs to maintain a work rate. Records and form and all that stuff kind of just goes out the window. It's an interesting one, this fight, you look at it. It's a fight that may well go the distance as well. Just a really, really sharp start from the Sunderland man. This is good stuff so far. Came against Ipidius Kavaliauskas, who can knock a small building over. Reddening up already. You've seen this in the amateurs uh, over the years as well. Ooh, Tash just gets quite... Asking some questions of the champion here, right in this first round. You know, whether a glove has just scuffed him there, but there's definitely some kind of marking. Well, so that's because Avanesian likes to set up those straight shots. But a very sharp, quite great, quite quickly. There's nothing too much to be concerned about. This is, this is sharp and fast start from the challenger. I think Adam Booth will be very, very happy with the way this first round is. And that is not David Avanesian's game at all. As you said earlier, Chris, I think it was you that said it, Chris. If Carl Greaves and his team can just fine tune. And it's no secret that he did have some, some problems with his weight. He did balloon up a point right this time around. He looks much stronger. He looked fresher at the way in yesterday. Avanesian a little bit here. In the second round, the first not good for him at all. You know, the first fight, one of the reasons for him getting off. Yeah, it's, it's muscles. Oh, a big left hook. Caught Avanesian. He was wide open there. And yesterday, and, and as you say, rehydrated, looking at a completely different specimen. Being caught like that. Oh, again, it's the speed. Brent, the second round, getting even worse for David Avanesian. Avanesian has managed to recover from that. There's a warning sign. I don't know that, how that's happened. It always does pour on the top of the head. There's a, a lot of blood. Yeah, it is. It's on the, uh, the scalp now, Avanesian. And, and that jab. Round three. Back and you can't see, you know. You can have far, far worse people in your corner too. It's not bothering him in the least. Avanesian. On the front, it's not in his line of sight. There's no... I've been trying to up the tempo here, but... That fight that you need as a boxer. If things get tough tonight. A little sense that he's getting a bit desperate here. Here you go, creating that separation. It's kind of a commercial uh, dream, and, and because of the way he boxes, one thing that I don't think many people will have to find out because of the skill set that he's got, but already looks a bit of adversity there to affect him. Um, but, you know, he's used to that. He's, he's been in the trenches. Hello. Get tough in the trenches, he's just going to fold. Last few seconds of the third round. That's a nice body shot, he doubled it up as well. Avanesian. <laughs> Guys, that Avanesian looks like he's started to settle. Overlooking uh, just, a, just a small matter of David Avanesian tonight, but of course, if he's got his own plans. It's like everybody wants fun of them. Yeah. Just drawing him in, so there you go. Oh, and everyone's talking about what they want and uh, put him into a bit of a battle and see if you can make a... This is Josh Kelly starting to get into his rhythm now and that's what he is, a rhythm fighter. He left the previous round, but Kelly looking sharp again here and it's the issue. Kelly just saying, yeah, there you go. He wants to be, this is him dictating the fight on his terms. Have some of that. Look at that looking down, use of the eyes there to try and... I think there may be a cut over the right eye, but of course... Jab up from, from the hip area. Josh Kelly and Avanesian. The, the amount of blood that's coming from that cut at the back of his head is what we're only really going to know. Avanesian looks to try and rough his man up here. Looks like Kelly's eye. Yeah, they're saying in the Avanesian corner that you are definitely cut to the right eye. I'll go to the scorecard. It, 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 it could possibly be a and we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Important there. It doesn't matter if it's a bad cut or not because we can't change that now. What is important? Avanesian here. Oh, that was smart about Adam Booth, though. I mean, 
far as you are ahead. I, I think he is clear ahead at, at this particular stage. Let's go and keep winning. Keep winning rounds. And I'm not sure how much success he had doing it either. This is where he, I think a lot of people looked at this and said Kelly wins the early round. You know, taking his, taking his confidence away by making him miss and making him pay. And as you say, Tash, I don't think David Avenisi would have expected that. Out muscle, David Avenisi that close. Like that. And trading up to show us a little bit, and he's showing it now, and he's digging in, and, and there can be enough bomb for step up to step up. You have to at times get in the pocket with him, you have to stay in his previous few fights already. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you have to show a little bit of everything against these come forward fighters. You can't. Bunker, there you go. Nine of these two fellas have had a fight since December. To his own, but no, he hasn't really shown any signs of that inactivity. He was a little slow. 400 days for both of them. Warmed up now. Blood continuing to pour from all over the place. A ring round that he's done in the last couple of years, but uh, Nisi Rowe, it's almost two years since he was stopped by and that cut. Around the back of the head with Avanisi making him miss with earlier. A lovely combination. He's followed it up and Kelly's in trouble. Carefully, the legs are all over the place. Absolutely gone and had a boost thrown in the table. Absolutely sharp and fast. And uh, that was that because Avanisi will not let you off the hook. From. And the legs had completely gone and that was it. Speaking to Darren Barker earlier on today, describing that feeling, he said to Adam Booth, absolutely did the right thing. All the officiating has been good tonight.